Hey everybody, how you doing out there? It's yours truly, Dave. Dave, I just want to say to you, I'm glad you guys are joining my, my, my best podcast ever. I'm, I'm just delighted to do this for you guys. Uh, uh, this is going to be like the audio versus the uh, video, okay? We're going to get them synced. We're going to get them synced. So, uh, without the video, you can need audio. And audio, you need video. It goes, it goes like, it goes great like, uh, you know, like peanut butter and sandwich. Uh, so, you, in order to have video, you need audio. Uh, in the early days of film, there's just the film, no audio. So they had to deal something to deal with the audio. Uh, back in the day, like 1800s, they had to deal with uh, the video part thing, the video, as they say in cameras. Uh, now, cameras, um, they've they gone a long way from uh, cameras we have today. Uh, like on our iPhones or uh, Android devices, we have cameras of all sorts of kinds of cameras out there. So balance cameras, to your store cameras, to your um, cameras around the world. And one person would say, get used to it, right? Just get used to it. You're going to have cameras everywhere around this world. The whole theory of Big Brother is live and well, like they say. Deal with it, as I would say to those people out there. Just deal with it. Cameras are going to be around us no matter what. Even even if, even in a ten years time, we're going to have cameras. Of, uh, uh, really, really, in the United States and Canada. I, I kid you not, folks. We got to start getting used to about video cameras. There's video cameras to do with log cameras. There's cameras to do with. Uh, now the police. Now I, I mentioned this in the past that uh, the police now in the United States use so-called body cams, cameras. Uh, everywhere they go, they have the body cams running. They, ha they have them running for many reasons. Uh, they use body cam uh, uh, cameras. And this one guy, this one guy, uh, they've been using it since 2015, if you can believe it. The police force in the United States has, uh, almost the entire police force are using Dash or not? Well, well, dash cams and body cams. So it goes like peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So uh, if you can't have the body cam cameras, and there's a lot of footage out there, uh, folks. There's a lot of footage out there, and you can do a request if you want those body cams to, and have the footage on the body cams that the police have. You can uh, do a foray. They call it foray or request, and you can ask for the footage that the police have. And um, I just want to say to you guys, get used to having cameras. We're all going to get used to cameras like that. Uh, like I said in the past, I said there was a TV show that really scared me to death. I mean, really scared me to death. This all has to do with Big Brother Theory. Now, it's not the TV show. It's not that. This just has to do with Big Brother watching over you kind of thing. The theory of that is scary enough. Uh, it's, like, it's like you walk out of your house, the cameras will follow you. I mean, they will follow you. I mean, uh, you ever thought a day that it would come a, 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 a year <laughs> and almost five, ten years we're going to have that theory? Imagine if you walked outside your door, your house door, and a camera follows you. Imagine that. Just imagine that. Think about that for a sec, folks. This is like the big burner theory. They're watching over you. Every camera in every corner. Can you imagine? Found that for a sec. That's scary enough, folks. Anyway, anyway, I don't want to get into the Big Brother theory of uh, cameras everywhere. That would be scary in itself. I mean, already we have surveillance cameras to uh, vlog cameras. We have all sorts of cameras out there that can do many things, many things, a lot of features, too. I almost forgot to tell you guys, cameras do have features. Don't worry. It's not like a normal camera just only takes pictures. It's got to have features in it. It's got to have features in it. Cameras... Uh, cameras without features is like like a day without sunshine, in a way. Cameras can have features, tons and tons of features, unless you don't want the features in your camera. Uh, if, you want, if you're a type of person who likes to point and shoot kind of cameras, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll actually, we'll actually uh, point you to it. Uh, so if, you like, if you're a person that likes to take just photos all the time and not worry about the features, then we got, it's like a point and camera, it's like a point and shoot camera, right? Uh, but anyway, there you go, there you go, folks, and, um, I forgot what I was going to talk about, this is, this is weird, I got off topic here, folks. Uh, anyway, anyway, just, just promise you people you'd be nice out there, and, um, oh yeah, 
Oh, yeah. I want to tell you guys, my best friend of 31 years did pass away in 2018. It's now, it's now become upon me that it's about two years since his passing. And he died at a young age. Young age. I'm not kidding. A young age. At age 45. Uh, around 40, 45, 46 age. Um, not to do to the pandemic, but due to complications. Um, but he did pass away. It was sad for a lot of people that knew him, knew my best friend for 31 years. I knew him a lot longer than any of his friends that he knew. Uh, so I knew him quite uh, about 31 years at least, uh, since 87, if you can believe it, since 87. So 31 years of friendship. This is friendship. This is just only friendship. Uh, so bear that in mind. So it's only friendship. There's a lot of friends in the world you got to have. People say you need to have friends. You need to have surround yourself with friends. And that's what I did. I surround myself with friends. Because friends will know you better than you are. Or they'll, or they'll know you better than, than you know yourself. Or they or you know yourself. So you, you gotta have friends out there. Friends will come, will be there every thick and thick. I can't even say it properly. Through thick and thin. With highs and lows to the good so days and bad days. They're gonna be there for you no matter what stage in your life is. No matter if you're feeling happy, sad, angry, mad, uh, hopeless. No, we don't wanna be hopeless, right? We don't wanna be hopeless. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of there's a lot of there's a lot of victories out there. There's gonna be a lot of victories, as one of the singers would say. Gal Gallo put out a song out called Victory. Um, he, in the early '80s, early somewhere in the mid '80s, he put out a song called Victory. And it was a good song. It was a very good song. I heard it several times. It was a very good song. But he sang a song about victory, and the way people perceived it as victory. Um, victory is when you you do a great great thing in the world and he, and you're sure it's victory time it's a uh, hip hop array kind of time and uh, as Naughty by Nature once said hip hop array kind of thing yes that's the uh, victory speech so I want I want to send this I want to give a shout out if people like shout outs this one's for you uh, I want to give a shout out to all the YouTubers around the world who do their thing and do it really good really good I'm, I'm calling you out, YouTubers. I'm calling you out. All you YouTubers out there, I'm calling you out. Oh, by the way, by the way, in case you didn't know, Michael Jackson did marry uh, um, Marie Lisa Pre. Whatever her name was, she was the daughter of Elvis. She was the daughter of Elvis, still living today. Uh, she's around to this day. Uh, the daughter of Elvis. Yes, there was a daughter in the family. Uh, Elvis did pass away in 1977, if you remember that. But the daughter of that that Elvis guy, the daughter is still around to this day. He, she, she married into Michael Jackson, which a lot of people don't know. In the early nineties, uh, it was it was a big deal. It was a very much a big deal. You have Michael Jackson, the singer, the pop singer of the world, and you had Elise Marie Presley. And that's her name, if I can remember right. Um, they got married. They got married, and can you believe it? You get an uh, Elvis daughter, and you got Michael Jackson. I mean, this this couldn't be any better. It couldn't be any better. You know why I'm telling this? You know why I'm telling this? There's several reasons why I'm telling this. Michael Jackson is no longer around this world, and people have gone to the grave site of Michael Jackson. I kid you not. Where Michael Jackson is buried. I kid you not. Where Michael Jackson is buried. Now, he has passed away in 2009 or 2010. But the Jackson family, the, the other Jackson family, is still around to this day. The Jackson Five, that is. So, I want to give a shout out to all the people out there. I was just watching a video earlier tonight, and uh, it just, it, it's just, uh, it just wants me, it, it just want to, I want to really tout this as really good, because Michael Jackson, the king of pop that he is, he married a few people, there a few people out there, which the public doesn't realize. Um, now, it, they, went, uh, they went private. They had a private wedding, a private, they were not public people, they were private people. So, they weren't like out to the public, you know, seeing everybody and everything, because they were private, they were private people. They didn't want to be out to the media. They were so big, Michael Jackson, the way that he was, 
since 1974 onward, had all these relationships going on. All these relationships. He was the king of pop. People tout him as king of pop. And so that's that's what he is. So Michael Jackson, he married a few people along the way, along the, his, you know, timeline. And uh, and one of them was the, uh, the daughter of Elvis. Can you believe that? The daughter of Elvis. She's still around to this day, folks. Still around to this day. She hasn't passed away, you know, she hasn't passed away, folks. So, I want to say to this, this is a good revelation. And, and get this, get this. He sang with Paul McCartney, Sir McCar Paul McCartney, who was the guy from Beatles. So, there you go. Black Lives Matter is still alive and well. I want to initiate that. Uh, Black Lives is alive and well. Is still doing the uh, well, protesting around the world. I appreciate that. Whatever you guys are doing out there with the Black Lives Matter, Appreciate that. I appreciate it, just like Furry Potato would say. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so all you guys out there who are YouTubers, all you women out there are YouTubers, and what you do out there is great. Just keep it up. You do show the content, show the content on YouTube, and I love it. I really do love it. I do see a lot of YouTubers out there doing their thing, and I really, really come to appreciate that. I really do. I really do. You can only do so much. Uh, when, it, when you're doing camera and production of videos out there. You can only do so much. Unless there's an app that makes it a lot easier to edit stuff. Um, but other than that, go out there and do the best you can. The best you can. It's, this is not a hopeless world. This, we're not living in a hopeless world. We, we, can, we can strive to be the best. You know, strive to be the best, as my friend once said. Strive to be the best. You know, the best is not always your best, but you got to strive with the best. Uh, you know, you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do. You gotta stay strong. Stay strong, and you can do the rest. You can do what you can do. God, we're all messengers from God. We're all messengers from God. Sometimes we need a little faith in God. We need our little, you know, we need to give God the credit that's rarely deserved. You know, or the Jesus Christ that we once knew in the Bible. We gotta give credit where Jesus really, really saved us for hell and brimstone. Uh, we're not gonna go to hell. We're not gonna go to hell. And I described several times about what hell is really about. And hell is a real, real thing for a lot of people. We're all not gonna go to hell. We're gonna go to heaven, way up in the heavenly world. When we leave this world, we're still gonna, we're still gonna go to the heavens. God will save us. Jesus will save us. And he's always there for us. He'll send his angels, his archangels down here. Yeah, he has angels. He has a team of angels. Can you believe it? A team of angels, if you can believe that. Yeah, yeah. And by the way, by the way, there's no paranormal. There's no poltergeist going on here. There's no witchcraft. Yeah, yeah. I want to give. I want to kudos. I want to give some kudos. You know what I'm saying? Give some kudos. Yeah, but anyway, I just want to say, I want to relate to the brotherhood out there. I just want to say that Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi, you got, got my thumbs up on them. And uh, anyway, um, keep doing what you do, YouTubers out there. I really appreciate everything that you do out there. I really do. I really appreciate everything you do. Uh, I see a lot of them these days, really a lot of them. There are, a bunch of them are all doing news and all. The rest of them are doing uh uh, paranormal stuff, and um, they're all doing uh, all all these stuff they want to do. They want to where you get that energy. People say where you get that energy of yours. Well, I get it. I get it from many sources. I get it from YouTubers. I get it from uh, uh, things from the news stories. I get it from many sources. That's where I get my energy from. I don't get it from God. I don't get it from the Almighty God. I get it from a lot of sources. I get it from YouTube. It's all thanks to YouTube. And we're for YouTube, I still want to do what I do, what I do best. And yeah, yeah, a lot of people are turning to social media these days. I've got to say this really strongly. People are turning to social media. I, it's, people either take it for good or for bad. Or for good or for bad or whatever the case may be. But we're going to be here for a long period of time. As humans, we're going to be here as long as, long as the world is here, as long as it's not, you know, uh, they don't blow up the world. Yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, by the way, I'm not ranting anything. I'm going to raise my voice. Everybody likes to raise their voice. I'm going to raise my voice. So, 
I want to be, I want to be a strong and proud and be a beacon of light for everybody. I want to do a, be a beacon of light, if you can imagine that. So, hip hop array on that one. I'm out of here. Thank you very much, everybody. Great for you to be here. Thank you. I really appreciate that. This is your, this is your uh, main man, Dave. Dave, you can all call me Dave. And, yeah, that's right. You can always call me Dave. Because I'm here to stay for a long time. That's right. Not here for a short time, for a long, long time. Until I'm 80 years old. And the reason why I'm here, because of you guys on YouTube. And the YouTubers out there, thank you very much. I want to I wanna give a shout out to everybody. I want to give a shout out to everybody. Just like a radio station would do that. Yeah. And yeah, okay, so I, I'm so happy today. I get my energy in a lot of sources. Not from God, but a lot of sources. That's where I got my energy if you want to ask me that question. So there you go, there you go. That's where I get my, my energy from you people on YouTube. I really appreciate the things that you guys do. Really do. And it really, it, it, it shines a big light on everybody. It really does. And you're just perfect a person. I always see people that are out there, they're perfect people, perfect people out there. They do what they do best, and I appreciate that. But for once, once in your life, people, we're all in this together. We're all one, one world, one, uh, one galaxy. We're not in here for... Anyway, anyway... I'm going to see you guys now. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being here. I'm your host, David. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I want to give a big hug to everybody, if I could. And uh, I'm out of here. Thank you very much. Ciao for now.